what would happen if it stopped raining? How long would humanity survive without the rain we've always had? What's the first thing that would be affected? Would there be anything left except for a dusty shell, or would life find a way? At first, it would seem like there's nothing to worry about, because a whopping 72% of Earth consists of water. But water is not endless. Nearly 577,000 cubic meters of water evaporates from the Earth's surface every year. Without rain to replenish this water, our rivers and oceans would start to dry until there was no water left. Let's take a look at a world without rain. For starters, it wouldn't be quite so green for very long. With no rain, all vegetation would quickly die out. Think about it, vegetables and fruit will be no more. This complicates things for, you know, pretty much anything that eats. Animals that feed on plants will no longer have anything to eat and would soon starve to death. Without herbivores, the meat-eating predators would be next to fall. Without oceans and rivers, marine life would cease to exist. At this point, humans will have nothing to eat. Without water, an average person can live a little more than three days. Even if humans have stocked up food to last for a while, they will die of dehydration. If the rain ceased to fall, people would drop like flies thanks to the rampant diseases that would be spreading across the globe. Without plants to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen, there would be no oxygen to breathe. All life forms that use oxygen would quickly die off. On top of providing us with the air we breathe, Plants and trees protect us from other harsh natural elements like these scorching sun rays and harmful winds. Without these protectors, Earth's temperature will begin rising alarmingly. According to some estimates, temperatures could increase annually by as much as 36 degrees Celsius. Our world will be on fire, literally. A thin layer of oxidized dust will gradually start settling over everything. Our world would take on a reddish tint. If this sounds familiar, that's because we may as well be discussing the planet Mars. Remarkably, this wouldn't mean the end of all life on Earth. Evolution has a funny way of persevering even in the most difficult of circumstances. Over the millennia, certain microbes, known as extremophiles, have evolved to be capable of life without water. Maybe these extremophiles will evolve into a new advanced species that can survive without water and oxygen. What would a world inhabited by these creatures look like? That is a topic of discussion for another episode.